We are standing in what may be the hardest hit area of the hardest hit city in this disaster. This is one neighborhood in Tuscaloosa, Alabama that took a direct hit from a very powerful tornado. We're standing amidst the scattered remnants of people's lives. I'm surrounded by things like washing machines, mattresses, beds, children's toys. It is an enormous vista here this morning and it is very sad. We're looking at day five of this disaster. The death toll now 342 in the seven affected states. More than 100,000 people here in Alabama still do not have power. Among the many, many victims, children, so many children. So we sat down with several groups of children to get their take on this disaster. I heard a lot of noise, the whole house was shaking. And it was trees everywhere, the front yard, the backyard, wires and stuff everywhere. Everywhere you look in the sea of destruction here, you see signs that the victims include so many children, toys, tiny shoes, a crib. These children are now homeless and staying at a shelter. And our house just starts shaking. Shaking. Were you scared when this happened? 100% scared. 100% scared. I didn't never know that something was gonna happen like this. I never know that we'll be in a situation like this. Eyes and cane windows are broken. These children are staying with their grandparents after their roof came off. What were you thinking? I was thinking that we were gonna wake up in heaven. Really? I thought I thought that we were gonna die. Isaac, when you were hearing it going over, what were you thinking to yourself? I was thinking God was gonna protect us. Why do tornadoes happen? I don't know. I was asking my mom and dad about that. They didn't know either. Why do you think this happened? Some people say the reason why it happened because like God is sending us a message. Yeah. God is yeah. sending a message. What do you think the message is? What about you, Gabrielle? Are you gonna miss I'm anything? Thinking. I'm just glad that we all got life and stuff and sad for the people that did die, that seen that. It was shocking to see. These are weighty issues for children to have to confront. Too weighty. Daddy, sorry. And it's a relief that moments after our chat, they're able to revert to just playing. So fascinating to talk to those children, and we thank them for their time. A lot of people want to help out in, this, in the wake of this disaster. If you're interested in giving, you can go to abcnews.com. We've got plenty of resources there for you to give. Once again, abcnews.com.